This video is going to focus on using the transform tool. As soon as you open Photoshop, you're likely to want to go through and move images around as well as start to rotate images, scale them, so change the size of them, reflect them, and this video will go through and show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to want to select the image, portion of the image, the whole image, so I'm going to go Control A, otherwise you can go Select All, and then I want to go through and edit. You can individually edit using Scale, Rotate, Skew, Distort, Perspective, Warp, so on and so forth. You're going to be just chain or transforming images really, really frequently. So you're going to be getting used to using the Control T and the free transform tool uh, very, very quickly. So if you want to scale it, if you hover your cursor over any of these key points, you're going to be able to go through and scale it larger and smaller. You can see it uh, loses its proportions. And so you want to correct that or always correct it via before you selecting it, holding shift and then changing it and it will always keep its proportions. If you hover your cursor just beyond uh, those key points, it will, rot it will change to the rotate tool. And so same thing, you can rotate the image. If I hold shift and rotate, it will rotate on 15 degree increments. So it means getting that 45 and 90, uh, a really easy sort of step. And the other tools you can go through and use are transform and skew. And so that will be skewing it, which can be really good for when you're, um, you've done a, a really quality perspective or isometric drawing, and then you want to render it in Photoshop using different materials. This is a student example from previous designs. And so this is sort of brushed aluminium um, texture just downloaded off the internet and then applied on that 30 degrees 150 degrees uh, so it looks like it's you know covering the surface of the object so the skew tool and the distort tool is really good for that the distort tool allows you to distort them in the length and the height whereas the skews tends to be just on that one plane Uh, rotate with sort of covered, uh, flipping horizontally or vertically. And last of all, I want to go over is the uh, perspective tool. And so there's this perspective tool, which is correcting that lens distortion with that perspective. However, you might sort of find the it loses its height and therefore you might be using the perspective warp tool which is a little bit more complex um, but gives a really good result so you're applying these key points to where the vertical key points would be then I'm simply pressing enter and now I'm moving them to where they should be in terms of vertical points. So to correct it I might use the guides and I'm just dragging these out from the ruler and I can turn these guides off by control, pressing control and column and that allows me to then correct that perspective warping. Thanks for watching.